In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create more network switches in VMware Workstation. Hi, my name is Salhali and welcome back to my channel. So in our previous video, we learned how we can modify our DHCP settings in VMware Workstation, what is a NAT switch and what is a host only switch. Okay, so first of all, you need to click on Edit uh, Virtual Network Editor and then you go to Virtual Network Editor. So here we have VMNet 0, VMNet 1, VMNet 8. But what if I choose any other uh, because it shows me like 19 uh, VMNet. If I choose this one, what happens? So there would be no IP address. It would be just a network adopter where I can statically assign an IP address, but it won't be able to communicate with any other machine. So that's not the case what we want. We want this, uh, let's say VMNet 2 to have specific IP address what I want to configure. So how I can do that, I'll show you in this video step by step. Okay, so uh, for this one, I already chose VMNet 2 and you can see there is nothing. It's saying no internet access or nothing. Why? Because there is no uh, settings applied on VMNet 2. So under virtual network editor, I'm going to add a new network VMNet 2 yes this one so it's going to assign a subnet a random subnet so you can see it's uh, showing me 192.168.25.0 that's randomly assigned but for this one i don't want dhcp server that's an example i don't want dhcp server so i'll just simply click on this one and you can see dhcp enabled is gone but if i want dhcp enabled i need to click this one and this is the dhcp settings so you can change uh whatever you want like starting from uh, 25 uh to 254 so these are going to be all the ip address which would be assigned under vmnet to switch okay so uh, those are the settings i can change the subnet ip as well if i want to i can change the subnet mask as i want so this one by default is selected host only that means connect vms internally in a private network what i told you in my previous video that host only means the virtual machines can communicate to each other under that specific switch vmnet2 they can communicate to each other but not to any other one but if i try clicking on this net what happens it's not gonna uh, let me click on that one because there is only one net allowed in vmware workstation so you can see cannot change the network to net only one network can be set to net so we already have vmnet uh, 8 or uh, set on net but if i click on bridge you can see cannot change network to bridge there are no unbridged host network adopters so if i want the bridged i already have vmnet zero that's auto bridging or i can choose the bridge option uh, in the network setting of that vm but for this one uh, i want to let's say I, I don't want this ip address i want uh, 17216 75 network and i'm going to change the dscp settings as well 16725 uh, to uh, 172175 to 254 okay so you can see the network uh, subnet address is changed here 172.165.0 apply So it's going to take few seconds and uh, it says connected and it's host only let's go and restart the network services here so 
so i i do old school <laughs> system just uh, disable and re-enable to get the ip address there are like several ways but <laughs> i don't know why i do this one so it's still showing no internet access but we get ip address why there is no internet access because it's the it's for the internal communication so there is no uh, internet coming from my home router but you can see the ip address what we set in our dhcp settings okay so that's how you can create uh, more switches in the vmware workstation so it was really simple i would say because you, you don't have to do a lot but you have to understand what exactly you're doing or what you want to do uh, for creating more switch and what is required so you can play with this one by just clicking add network and you get like a lot of network and you set ip address just to test and practice more and more the more you practice the more you learn thank you so much for watching the video if you like the video make sure you click on like button and subscribe the channel i'm putting all of my efforts to teach you guys so i just want your support by uh, getting some likes and subscribers thank you so much i'll see you in the next video bye bye